Okay, so before we um, do uh, do the brakes uh, to uh, clear the brake uh, the the ear of the brake lines, we're going to put our brake pads back in and put it back on our um, on our bike. Now, um, when you're going to put the brake pads in, I find um, especially on the CB750 Hondas, the, the brakes, uh, boy, I tell you what, you need five hands in order to get them together, I find. So what I like to do is I put a little bit of grease, just a touch of grease, around on the back of the caliper, the back, not on the side that goes in your brakes. Don't put it on that side. Your brakes won't work. But it's a little bit on the back, and it's just to make it stick. So what that does, when I put it inside here again, and I put it into this little slot, which I'll try to show you. You can see the little slot there. When I push it in, it'll, the grease helps it stick to the top of the piston and keeps it from moving around. This works pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but hey, every little bit helps, right? Alrighty, so now, and then I just slide it back down over the disc. A bit of a fitting game here to get it right in. Come on now. Actually, you know what I think I've done? I think I've got my brake pads in the wrong ones. There we go. Let's switch them over. Make sure you have the the um, whoops. Make sure you have the the um, the braking element, the this side, on the disc. So it's got the groove. It has to be on the disc. Don't put the metal on the disc. That won't be nice. So we fit it down over. Yeah, that's going to fit now. So we try to fit it down over the disc. Nice thing, about this nice thing about this podcast, you can see me make all these mistakes. We all do. It's no big deal with any of that. Now, I've got it down on the disc, okay? So it's sitting on the disc here now. So you can see that it's actually it's still a little snug. It needs to be worked a bit more. I think it needs to be cleaned a bit more. But that's okay for now because I'm not going to be riding a bike anymore this season. So uh, it's, on, it's on there. Now, <clears throat> if I wanted to now, in this kind of state, I can bleed the brakes. Um, and uh, and get the ear out of the brake line. So let me show you how I do that. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go another little step. I'm going to take this back off. I'm going to put this back inside the, uh, the the mounting bracket for the brakes. So I'm just going to pop this up again and fit it inside into that mounting hole. And you know, sometimes I find these bikes they look simple to work on. You know, and, and most times they are. But the hardest part is trying to get all the little bits and pieces to match up fit together. Boy, I tell you, sometimes that can be a challenge. Some bikes I've worked on are just, oh, it's so tight fit to get everything in just so. And this is an example. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. So, there, it's into the mounting bracket. Now I just need to get those brake shoes fitted down over the disc again. Come on, there you go. All right, so, now we're ready to go. So that's it. So now I'll just reinstall the um, I'll reinstall our uh, our washers and nut again. Now uh, just a little note on that: the flat washer, the unbroken washer, goes in the inside, and the lock washer. This guy with the split. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. The split washer or the lock washer goes in the outside. So the flat one goes on the inside, the split one goes on the outside. That's what keeps the nut from falling off again. Now, if I was putting this together to keep together, I put a little bit of Loctite on it or, or tread locker on it so that it wouldn't come off. I like to do that with all these old bikes. And again, for this bolt, you'll see we have the, um, the flat washer on the inside and the split washer or the lock washer on the outside. You can see that okay. So we'll put that one in there too. And I'll just reinstall that. Now, make sure you're reinstalling this. Uh, just be careful when you're working on these bikes that you make sure you do actually tighten everything back up. What I do, I have, a, I have, some, red, I have some red electric tape. And if I have a bolt that I'm leaving loosened for a reason, I will um, put some red electric tape on it, a nice bit, so that I'll see it. And then if I forget it later, um, if I forget about the bolt, later on I'll see this piece of red electric tape. Because sometimes you, you have so many bolts to work on, you may actually forget that piece. And then you're, you'll remember it when you're doing 100 miles an hour and your rear wheel falls off. <clears throat> Here we go. Now I should, be, I should be torquing this in with a torque wrench, but I'm, yeah, I'm not, but I should be. Okay, so there you go. That's, that's reinstalled. Now let's talk about bleeding the brakes next. 
Okay, so we said that the um, we said that the RD400 has a um, has a rear disc hydraulic brake, so we need to get at get at the master cylinder, so we can get at that. We can bleed the brakes, because I'm assuming now you've taken your brakes apart and you've got an ear in the brake line. You reassembled everything. You got an ear in the brake line. The first thing I did was here in the in the caliper. When I had it apart, when I had this bolt off the top right here, I filled it back up with a little uh, funnel and some um, some brake fluid. Um, and this dot four goes in this, I believe it is. So be careful of your brake fluid. Make sure you use the right brake fluid. So I filled it back up, so that saves me a bit of time. And then I put this bolt, the banjo bolt, back in again. Now up here is where our this is our reservoir for our rear brake fluid. So you, you actually, in order to get this off, you actually have to take this bolt off, which is a complete pain. But you actually have to take this um, this bolt out right here, and then this swings out, and you can unscrew it. There's a little rubber grommet inside. Don't lose that. But the um, um, you, when you take this off, you just have to top it up. If there's like space in it, you top it up pretty high with brake fluid. Now, brake fluid is nasty, nasty stuff. It doesn't want to evaporate ever, so it's not going to dry up, and it'll take paint off things. It'll I don't know, it'll burn holes and stuff. It's terrible stuff. It's not really corrosive, but it's but it's nasty, nasty stuff. So uh, don't be getting it on yourself if you can help it. You want to put rags all around your inside of your bike, all around in here. So if you if you spill any, you'll you'll catch it. Okay, you want to make sure that you catch any any stuff that falls off. Now here's what you do to bleed the brakes. There's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, there's one method I'm going to show you, which is the quick method. It's if you're stuck and you don't have any gear and you just want to do it and get it over with. This is one way. Uh, the other method I'll, I'll talk to you about after, but I'll show you the easy method first.